Welcome to Daniel's prayer program. The Bible says in Acts 1 verse 8, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. For our first prayer item, let's pray for people to choose to be filled with the Holy Spirit and not to be afraid. Let's all pray together fervently and with joy. Father God, we come before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up to you, our people, O God, that would choose to be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, filled with the Spirit's power, O God, and not to be afraid of what's happening. Thank you, God, that the Holy Spirit is a spirit of boldness and of power. God, we thank you. In Jesus' name, our people will be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit and spirit. God in power in Jesus' name. We thank you for boldness. We thank you, God, for strength. We thank you, God, for strong in the name of Jesus Christ. That people will not be afraid, will not be discouraged, will choose to depend on your word. Choose, oh God, to trust in your holy word, your promises, God, that you said. It wasn't promised to us, Lord. And we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. That people shall be strengthened, O God. Filled with faith, O Lord God. And will not be afraid nor dismayed. They would put their trust in you completely. The word says, God, he puts their trust in you, Lord God, will never be put to shame. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We believe the strength that comes from you. You're the God who strengthens your people in their innermost being. God, Almighty. Might be we ask God the grace to flow upon your people, God. Strength in the heart of the people. The heart of the people will be filled with the word of God, filled with promises from the word of God. Oh, yes, God Almighty. You, that as we trust in you completely and that be not in our own understanding, oh God, and everything shall be well, as your word declares, it shall be well for your people. God. It will be well for the people of God. Thank you, Lord, and through the power of the Holy Spirit, there will be strength in this God. Faith in the name of Jesus. Trust in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, for your grace. We thank you for your goodness upon them, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. 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 For our next prayer item, we like to pray for our people to be debt free and that they will be stable in their finances. So let's all lift up our voices to God and let's believe for an answered prayer. Let's all pray. Thank Heavenly you, Lord. Father, we come all to all bless you, Lord. Lord. You are good and you are good for the very goodness and grace of God. We pray that for our people to be debt free. God, Lord, bless the work of the hands that are taking the promotion and bring them salary increases as they work hard the ability of their jobs, God. We pray, God, their position be God, that they will work hard the commendable God will be dependable in their work. God, we thank you that in Jesus' name, Lord, they will shine there so bright. They will be able to solve difficult situations, complicated matters, because of the wisdom flowing that will get through you. Thank you, Lord God. The financial life will be stable, God. We thank you, Father. All the dead shall be Paid in full, Lord, we thank you for your financial management, for your decision, God, their budget, their finances, and God, we thank you for your word, God, a reality, God, in the life of prosperity, God, that you promise in your word, God, is to give them a hope of the future, to prosper them, God, thank you, Lord, that your name will be given glory in this, your name will be given glory in this, 
Amen and amen. Next, we're going to pray for understanding, peace, and unity between family members. Let's lift our voices to the Lord and let's pray fervently and with joy. Oh Lord, Lord God, we thank you, God, for the your desire, your will to be in unity. Family members be in unity. United in united in honoring Lord, you God in their homes. Peace for relationship the family members. And unity, God, all God in the family with them. God, God, that the word of God be real, God, in everyone in the family. Lord, I pray that even the Lord will not make it hard for their parents, oh God. Father, that the family will find time together to seek the Lord. Father, that they find time together to pray, oh God, to just worship the Lord. They will honor their father and their mother. Go to the house of God together. Oh, we thank you, Lord God, as family stays together. Pray, pray that their bond be so strong. Strong, in Proverbs 2 6, for the Lord gives wisdom from his mouth, come knowledge and understanding. So right now, we will be praying for wisdom and guidance for our government leaders. Let us now pray together. Mm -hmm. 
Father God, we Lord God, we pray for our government leaders that we are dealing with them, that you will show them grace and God for it. And oh God, in how God is God in leading the nation. That is wisdom that will be from above. God will bring God prosperity to the nation. Will bring unity, more unity among them. The bread, the country, God. Hey, Father, we guide us in every decision we make. Guide us concerning hope. Guide us concerning that. On guide us concerning that. Guide us concerning that. Guide us concerning that. Guide us concerning that. Oh Lord, God, give us the guidance. Go to God to run the nation. God, I'm swinging God in the economy. Yes, God, help my nation. Lord, help the president and the assistant. God, members that solve everything. Can I express, oh God, the Father, guide us from the world. Our nation will indeed come out of an economic crisis. No more corruption in the name of Jesus Christ. To be unity, God. God, that is I get of our leaders in the nation come to progress, God, in the name of Jesus. Four jobs created, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the strength of the leadership of our nation. All of them, God, will be in tune to what you desire, what you want, God. Your will be done, Father, in Jesus' name. I pray that when they create laws and rules, God, it will encourage God even evangelization, it will encourage you to speak to the gospel. It thank you, Father. All that their hearts are in your hands, God. All their hearts got direction in your hands. Nation, leaders, strength, with abilities, God, that will help the nation, God, get stronger in the mighty name of God. We thank you, Father. We all you, God. And we give you praise for your God, your love, and those who are God. Thank you, Lord, for your love. love and mercy, Lord God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. For our last prayer item, we will be praying for medical professionals to be sustained with strength every day. So let's continue to lift our voices to the Lord and let us all pray. Lord Jesus, Father God, we thank you, Lord God, God, so much for our medical, medical professionals. Thank you, Lord. I pray that you are doctors, our nurses, God, our nursing assistants, the medical technologists, God, the laboratory workers, and those working in the hospital, God, those working in quarantine facilities, working at the clinic, the grace of God, have all the strength that they need, Lord God, in order to do their jobs well, in order God, to help every patient. They want to give up, oh Lord God. The bodies will not give up. Lord, you so motivated, oh God. Pray, Father, that their salary increases you them. Peace to them, oh God. Oh, thank you, Lord. They'll be doing well. They'll be giving, giving all the benefits they deserve. Lord, we thank you for the protection. You will be sustained. We have We 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 uh, able to surround him God with and find things thank the Lord that your hand will be the Father for grace God in the name of Jesus thank you Lord and the shahan and the sea and the sand and the sea 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 Jesus name. Amen. We would like to thank you for joining us in this time of fervent prayer. 
Daniel's prayer program airs at 5.45 in the morning, 11.45 near noon time, and at 8.45 in the evening from Mondays to Fridays. This is Pastor Rafi Manalo and God bless you all.